G'day everyone. Today we're going to have a look at uh, turning on shaker doors and how to machine them from Cabmaster. So here I've got a basic drawing. Uh, we're just looking at a simple cabinet with no shaker door at the moment. So as we go to the drawing properties and we look up the Doormaster LT setting with the profile doors, you can see there I'm on the series shaker door, I'm on the style shaker, and I'm on the version 1. If you have the multiple saves you can save different configurations. If I turn the profile on, press the OK button, you'll notice I now have a shaker door. So I'm going to use the F8 key on the keyboard to export my machining. This will output the materials I'll need. So then we'll head over to Easy Nest and actually look at what's going on there. All right, now we're over in Easy Nest. We're going to look at doing the strategies for the shaker. So first of all, we're going to need a new piece of paper. At this moment in time, the size and shaping is not important. I'm only building a strategy. So for all users, if we use the blue folder, and I'm just going to get the door itself, okay? I just need lines. It could be any line. Now, as you can see here, there is actually an outside line, and there's actually an inside line. It's the inside line I'm going to focus on at the moment, because that is actually the shaker layer. So if I select on the shaker layer, right-click, create tool path, I'm going to go for an island fill on this technique. If I've previously made any lay, uh, strategies to use, this is where I can call upon them. I'm actually going to call upon one now, but I'm going to go through how I actually created it in the first place anyway. As I call upon this one, this is a two tool version. So as you can see here, I'm using a hogging tool followed by a down spiral tool. Now, if I was making this strategy normally, I could use the available tools area and simply add the tools as I go. But as I said, this one's already previously made for me. So I've set the depth currently at 7. That will actually be assigned by Cabmaster, so it's not to worry about exactly how deep it is here. Okay. As I go into the edit function, as I go through the details, the depth is already being declared, the fill, how much the tool is going to overlap. This one's currently going to overlap only by 10%. How many passes this particular hogging tool is going to do. And how fast this tool is going to travel. Please consult your tool provider as to how fast your tool should travel on the appropriate material. The direction it's going to go, any entry or exit methods. In this case, I'm just coming straight down with this tool and then traveling around the object. You can also check the downward spiral tool and the same deal. It has the same criteria. One thing you will notice though is between the different levels of Easy Nest, some levels of Easy Nest you will be able to switch between the fine and the clean, that is on the Easy Nest wood level. Okay, The fine movement is a small triangular movement in the corner that just clears up the radius that the hogging tool couldn't do. The clean movement, which is the default movement that all users have, is a outside travel around the uh, shaker profile. So it will actually travel the complete perimeter of that island area. We'll see that in a moment because it's set to clean. So I'm going to press OK. If I was going to save as, I would choose an appropriate name as you can see there. If I press OK, you'll see my shaker profile has turned on there. If I zoom in, you can see the purple lines here represent that hogging tool spiraling around to clear the major area and over here it will leave a radius so the 8mm tool is going to travel the outside and potentially clean that radius off. The fine movement is a better movement to clean that radius off if it's available to you. Alright so now the next stage is we need to make sure our ATP is ready to deal with the shaker. Up here if I'm on my uh, current MDF 18mm thick in my defined layers I'm going to scroll down until I find a layer name called Shaker. If you don't have this, I have made a video before, which I'll post a link to, uh, which will show you how to find missing layers in Easy Nest. Okay, but in this instance, I've got it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select my tool part, my strategy that I had just previously discussed. So I'm going to grab this one here, the two tool. Now, because this particular one was made for seven millimeters deep, I need to put seven millimeters in this column. This final column here, use depth, actually will modify that strategy to the depth specifically that Capmaster has specified. So if I then save this into position, it is now ready to do that technique. But just prior to finishing that, we should always consider the ordering and nesting. Okay, In the strategy order, it would make sense to do your island fill before you do your offset mail cuts. 
because the board will be able to hold down better. In the tool order, you can choose to do your uh, hogging tool before the down spiral, which means that if it comes down to a scenario of the tool is the first selection, then we can choose which order they're coming in. There'll be more later on another topic about how to do these priority orders. But once we're happy with that, we save it. So if I come forward with my job and go and add my door set up, I'm going to leave like that. In fact, I'm just going to turn off for the purpose of the output just for the sake of this video, and I'm just going to press process. So there you can see my door is nested, it's done all of the outside cut, and it has applied the shaker profiling on the inside. Now the alternative method I suggested was a three tool for those of you that are using Ease Nest Wood. If I change that now, go to here, find my layer shaker, but this time instead change it to the three tool version. Now I'm going to skip the saving process, I'm not saving it in place, I'm just going to let it run. Here you can see the hogging tool has occurred. But then the down spiral tool has nibbled away at the corner to get rid of the radius and then also further proceeded to do a clean movement around the outside. So that one there was the fine movement and that one there was the clean movement. Alright, thanks for watching.